Well, good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday, February 8th. I'm Maggie Fleckno, and this is Houston Happens. Let me tell you, we have a great show to help get you over the hump. We are gearing up for the big game. We also have a fun game you can play at home. Plus, I am joined by two of the stars from Sesame Street, and one is a little ticklish, just saying. And a very exciting and big announcement at the end of the show. So what do you say? Let's get this show started. Now, fans like myself, we are gearing up for the big game and more importantly, filling our game day menus with crowd pleasing snacks everyone will love. So here to share their tips for creating the ultimate cheesy game day spread and entertaining expert. We have Rosalind Daniels and we have Telemook's executive chef and cheese expert. I like that title. Josh Archibald, thank you both so much for waking up with us. Hi, Maggie. Thanks for having us. Excited to be here. So walk us through a little bit about how to host a winning game day party and what you have. Well, I have so many great tips for your game day, but did you know that people tend to like or look forward to the food and the snacks more than the actual game itself on game day? So that lets you know that the true MVP of the day it's your food. So I like to keep that in mind when I'm creating a setting for my friends and family to come over and enjoy. So I like to usually make a nice large grazing board with a hero that's in the center. This year, my hero is beer cheddar cheese dip. And it's absolutely delicious because I use bold and melty Tillamook sharp cheddar cheese. I love using their extra creamy butter and I use their spreadable cream cheese. It is so easy to make you guys and people love it every time they take a bite because Tillamook uses high quality ingredients for a better taste every single time. This looks delicious. So chef, tell us about what you'd serve best to complement a dip. Yeah, well, anything dipped in Tillamook cheese is great, but hear me out on this. You can amp up your spread with more cheese inspired snacks. We've got these cheddar cheese coins here. Nice, forward, sharp flavor, great crisp, everyone will love. We've got a savory, sharp cheddar, cornmeal, and jalapeno waffle. Uh, this recipe is courtesy of our good friend and partner, Aaron McDowell. We've got a grilled cheese baton made on super thick sourdough bread with an exterior schmear that's mayonnaise and our extra creamy butter uh, cooked to a golden brown. And last but not least, you cannot sleep on this pretzel with sharp cheddar on top, perfect for multiple passes through that dip. Tillamook cheddar comes in shreds, slices, and blocks to give you creamy, melty results with bold flavor for any recipe or occasion. I want some now. This all looks delicious. So, Rosalind, do you have any more tips for how to round out the perfect party? I want a winning party. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you can have a winning party because Tillamook is so delicious that it actually inspired a whole cheddar musical compilation called Block Jams, and it was created by three TikTok stars. I suggest that you put on your Block Jams, set the mood for your day, and have a nice, big, cheesy game day spread, you know? <laughs> yeah, I love it. You guys are the real MVPs. I love how you're quarterbacking this big game party. All right, where can we go for more, y'all? <laughs> yeah, for help finding Tillamook products at a grocery store near you, or to hear that Block Jams album, check <laughs> us out at Tillamook.com. Thank you both so much. I'm going to go listen to that album and get some cheese. Thanks, guys. Have a great rest of your day. And speaking of the big game, two different teams in the big game this year means new rosters for fans to learn. And as Chris Hagen reports from Phoenix, spelling always counts. Feel free to play along. Sure, on Sunday they'll crown a Super Bowl champion out here in Arizona, but there is even more of a coveted prize on the line, and that's right. It's the annual Super Bowl Spelling Bee. Patrick Mahomes. Let's spell Mahomes. M-A-H-M-A-H-O-M-E-S. M-A-H-O... Mahomes? Or, okay, uh, M-E-S. Isaiah Pacheco. Pacheco. P E C H E K O. P A C H E C O. I like how he leans into the mic to make sure you can hear him. You're wearing a Browns jersey. It's not like you're easily embarrassed. I mean, come on. Nick Sirianni. Can you give me a Sirianni? Hey, uh, Siri, spell Sirianni. 
S I R I N A I. Not at all. No. Worst worst attempt to hold it. S I R I A N N I. Did you steal my notes here? Nope. Did you? Okay. Dallas Goddard. G O E D O R T. E-R-T. You're really great on consonants, but vowels are where you fall down. G-O-E-D. E-R-T. Bring it home. Kelsey. K-E-L-C-E. Is this guy a ringer? Who brought him in here? K-E-L-S. Oh, God. You can't. He's what? laughing what? at you. K-E-L-C-I. Yes, just like in football, it's hard to be perfect in the Super Bowl spelling bee. Reporting out in Arizona, I'm Chris Hagan. That's H-A-G-A-N. Well, can you spell Sesame Street? I bet I can because guess what? I am so excited. We have some very special friends joining us live in studio all the way from Sesame Street. So please welcome Selena Hernandez, otherwise known as Abby Kadabi, and we also have a surprise mystery guest. Yes, so do. I have to say, I'm very excited to be welcoming you back to the Lone Star State. You're from San Antonio. Yes, I am from San Antonio, Texas. So tell us, how did you get involved with Sesame Street Live? Um, well, I actually watched Sesame Street Live, like that was my first theatrical experience as a child. I watched it here um, in El Paso, and I like always loved the brand. I really really like just love what they follow and uh -huh. what they mean and I found auditions on fell.com and I auditioned the rest is history Abby can Abby. and we actually can see you guys live so tell us a little bit about what's going on um, Sesame Street live make your magic is a highly interactive musically driven show um, we get to follow Abby Kadabi and Elmo's journey down Sesame Street we learn patience and practice that makes anything happen and anything can happen with your dreams uh, we also get to see some favorite furry friends like Rosita, Cookie Monster, The Count, Big Bird. <gasps> and I told you earlier, yeah. I used to call him Bird when I was little. <laughs> I loved him and my mom told me that's why they got cable. So, and I, my little baby is watching. So she's very excited. If only she knew exactly what was about to happen because um, one of our friends is here. I'm yes, very excited. Yes. <laughs> Without further ado, please welcome Elmo! Cool points, right? Yeah, you did. So, Elmo, I heard you do a little magic up your sleeve. Yes, he does. So, can can I learn some magic? Absolutely. Okay. All right, Elmo. Without further ado, let me set this down so I can. Oh, I've always wanted to be like a magician's right. assistant. Okay, so Elmo's gonna show the handkerchief. Okay. He's gonna put it over his hand, and then we are gonna say the magic word "sesa you sesa me." So okay. we have to say them all together, right? Okay. Sesa -sa you. Sesame. Yes! Yeah. Elmo. No way. For They're me? For you. Oh my gosh. They smell delicious. I love them. Oh my gosh. Sesa you, Sesame. I'm so excited. Elmo, thank you so much. You can be my Valentine. And where can we go for more information about the show? You can go to SesameStreetLive.com to purchase tickets and get any of our show times. We also have, for a free upcharge, a uh, meet and greet with Elmo and some of his friends, too, if you want to do that. Trust me, he's just as nice in person, and so are you. Thank you Thank so you much, so and much. stay tuned. We have plenty of Houston Happens after the break. Hey, can you teach me some more magic? Okay, yeah, we can. I gotta work on that, Sessa. Yep. You, Sessa, me. me. All right, I don't know how you did that. Can you make more things? No, we're gonna disappear to break. We'll see you after. When couples cause chaos, <laughs> Judge Mathis keeps the peace. Can you divorce us right now? <laughs> Judge Mathis, next on CW 39 Houston. Special guest Bill O'Reilly on Cuomo. You'll love this, Cuomo. You will love this. TV's liveliest, most honest debate. I don't know that he's going to lose. Voting started in you September. You want to bet? Yeah. Tonight at 8, 7 Central. Yum, yum. Humble pie. Only on News Nation. I was at a stoplight waiting for the light to turn green. And out of nowhere, I wake up and somebody hit us from the back. I was really shocked and I didn't know what to do. I had too much adrenaline. So working with Jim Adler, it made me feel really comfortable because he was able to answer all my questions and help me with my case. Don't let a bad wreck overwhelm you. I'm Jim Adler, the Texas Hammer. I'll answer all your questions and fight the insurance company for you. 
The Rule and Ryan Show month of games is back on 104.1 KRBE and can be your ticket to Taylor Swift. Your favorite games every morning like the Rapid Fire Quiz and Song Pop. Are you ready for it? All of this gets you into the running for the VIP experience for the year's biggest concert. Win a pair of tickets to see Taylor Swift, a limo ride to the show, and a weekend stay at the Omni. It's me. Swift thinking will get you Swift tickets with The Rule and Ryan Show and the month of games on 104.1 KRVE. Hello, Houston. Now and forever travel centers serving Houston area neighborhoods. We've got low gas prices and a huge selection of snacks and drinks for everyone. For the best service around, visit Now and Forever Travel Centers. Fuel to fresh. Hi, I'm Eric Dick. I think it's important to know that you had the right to hire an attorney. If your home insurance claim has been denied or underpaid, call me right now at 877-7-FREEZE. That's 877 877- Seven freeze. Don't be a victim twice. Call me today at 877 freeze. Call the Dick Law Firm at 877 freeze. Get come and take it on Amazon. This is exactly why we chose leaf filter. Before leaf filter, our gutters would get so clogged. I used to have to climb up on that roof. Leaf filter was a lifesaver. The leaf filter installation process was so simple and easy. When the salesman gave us interest-free financing and the price was right, it was a no-brainer. Our downspouts flow freely now. My home is better protected. Thank you, leaf filter. Folks in the greater Houston area, call 346-501-4701 or visit noclogs.com. Well, welcome back to Houston Happens, and we are turning to health news. Has it felt like your heart flip-flops, skips beats, or just feels like it's off to the races? No, you are not lovesick. These are not signs of a broken heart. These are actually a few symptoms of AFib. And here to help us understand and talk more on the topic is Dr. AFib himself. I'm so excited. Please welcome Dr. Percy Morales from Modern Heart and Vascular. Thank you so much for waking up with us. Thank you so much for having me here today. I really appreciate you having me here to talk about AFib. Well, of all people, if you're known as Dr. AFib himself, so tell us, what exactly is AFib? Well, AFib or atrial fibrillation, which is the, the big word for it, is a b- most common heart arrhythmia across the world. Uh, it's over about 5 million people in the United States and over 30 million across the globe that have this heart arrhythmia. So this is a more of an electrical problem to the heart. As a comparison, when people have a heart attack, which affects the blood flow and the heart muscle, this is more of an electrical disease of the heart. It's kind of imagine it as a short circuit, something that's misfiring the heart. Instead of a nice steady heartbeat, you get rapid, irregular rhythms of the heart itself. So what are some of the symptoms? Because I know sometimes I get nervous jitters, you know, or Mm -hmm. nervous tummy, I say, or somebody feels jittery or anxious. So how can you differentiate? So atrial fibrillation, like I said, is an erratic heart rhythm, makes the heart go fast, but there's a variety of symptoms about how people feel it. Mm -hmm. The most common symptom will be a sudden onset of the heart racing. Instead of a nice, steady heartbeat, all of a sudden the heart will go shoot up and go very fast and very erratic. It's not uncommon that people have heart rates of 150 beats per minute when they're having AFib. So that is the most common symptom, but not everybody feels that, okay? Some people don't even feel the heart itself. Some people just feel short of breath. Some people just feel tired excessively or dizzy. And there's a small percent of people that feel nothing whatsoever. They, don't, they could not tell that they're having atrial fibrillation or right. AFib. And they get diagnosed on accident just with a regular checkup with their doctor. So what are some of the risks if we don't get diagnosed? So the biggest and most concerning risk of having AFib is risk of stroke. Mm -hmm. And in general, people who have AFib are at five times higher risk of stroke than people who do not have atrial fibrillation. When the heart's going very fast and erratic, it's prone to develop blood clots inside of the heart, which could then go to the brain, increase risk of stroke. Now, risk of stroke is not the same for everybody. Some people who are older are going to have a higher risk of stroke than somebody younger, but that is the most common and concerning thing about atrial fibrillation is risk of stroke. And there's a lot of treatment options to reduce that risk of stroke. Another big concerning risk would be risk of what's called heart failure. It's in weakening of the heart muscle. When AFib is not well controlled, when the heart's going very fast and erratic for a prolonged period of time, right. maybe weeks or months, it can cause an objective weakening of the heart muscle as well. So how do you treat this? So there's a variety of treatment options. I always tell my patients medications are always an option, and that's commonly where people start off. Mm -hmm. There's a variety of treatment options for medications that can control symptoms, they can prevent symptoms, and even reduce the heart rate itself when people are getting episodes of atrial fibrillation. In addition, 
Treatment for stroke risk reduction is an absolutely essential part of management for AFib. There's a variety of treatment options. Most commonly would be blood thinning medications. There's a group of blood thinning medications called anticoagulations that the grand majority of people who AFib will be put on. And so those are the common treatment options, but there's also procedures as well. There's procedures as well which can improve symptoms of AFib. Also, there are procedures that can reduce risk of stroke. A lot of these procedures are procedures that people like myself who are specialists in AFib do, and it can really improve symptoms a lot. In addition, I couldn't mention treatment for AFib without mentioning lifestyle modifications. You know, for a lot of people, uh, they get atrial fibrillation who either have high blood pressure, diabetes, obesity, excess alcohol usage, and these are all risk factors for getting AFib. And treating those underlying causes are also an essential component of the long-term treatment of atrial fibrillation. Well, I see why they call you Dr. AFib. You definitely broke this down for us and it makes sense. That's why I love all of the doctors mm -hmm. within your practice. Where can people go for more and to book an appointment? Well, I, like anything, the earlier it's treated, the better the results, and people are able to get an appointment with me at Modern Heart and Vascular. But in general, I'm very passionate about educating people with this disease, which is why I wrote a book called Your Complete Guide to AFib. It's really written as an A to Z guide for anybody to learn more about this condition and understand more of their treatment options. Anybody can get it. It's available on Amazon. But for people who are able to come and see me at Modern Heart and Vascular, I do also keep copies to give the new patients as well. Well, thank you so much, Doctor, thank for your you so time. Much. I really I appreciate, appreciate it. it. And now let's check in with Ido. I'm not hurting this weather, my friend. I uh, not either, especially as we head into this afternoon. Take a look at the day planner. By noon, 2 p.m., we are going to be dealing with a set of thunderstorms moving into the area. Plus, it's muggy right now. We are looking at 70s up until the lunchtime hour, but then check this out. The temperatures start to fall, so it's really hard to get a good handle on what our high temperature is going to be because that's typically in the afternoon, but it's a flip-flop day where it's going to be warm in the morning and then cooling off in the afternoon, and that's because we have a cold front coming in. And here's a look at the forecast rain chances for today, and you can see right there, that's when the cold front is going to be coming in during the p.m. hours, about 7 p.m., um, excuse me, 1 p.m., 2 p.m. we have a 70% chance of showers and then that drops to 50% right when you got to go pick up the kids. But for the evening and commute, we're looking at just a slight chance of some rain. So here's a look at our current temperatures because you can see here we have some 70s, but behind this front already cooling down into the 50s and check that out right now. Austin at 46 right now. Here's a look at satellite and radar. We're already starting to see the showers move into this area and I know this is well to the south of us, but you can see right here pocket of thunderstorms already being produced along this cold front and Maggie some of these thunderstorms can produce some wind that pack a punch and also brief periods of heavy rainfall. Oh, not a fan of that, and I'm scared mm. of thunder. I always tell myself the <laughs> angels are bowling. Oh, That's no. what my nanny used to say. <laughs> oh, no. I love Fun that. fact. Oh. All right. Well, in other news, public safety. It is the top priority for first responders each year as tens of thousands of fans descend on the host city for the big game. So joining us today live to talk more about what it takes to help keep the big game safe is former Tampa Police Chief Brian Dugan. We have former Phoenix Fire Chief Kara Kalkbrenner and Verizon Frontline President Maggie Hallback. Thank you all so much for waking up with us. Thank you. Thank you. So I'll start with you, Brian. What are some of your top concerns when planning for the big game? When you start looking at these big, you know, large scale events like the Super Bowl, communication, coordination and connectivity is so essential. You know, we had over 70 different agencies respond to Tampa when we had the Super Bowl there. And that was just on the law enforcement side. When you look at other first responders and networks and, and Verizon Frontline came in in two years in advance to start working on that. And, uh, and that why it was just essential for us to have that reliable network. I mean, when you have that many agencies and you're trying to coordinate how you're going to respond and you want to be effective and efficient, you rely on that network connectivity to get everyone to the right place at the right time. And speaking of which, Maggie, how is Verizon Frontline helping public safety agencies in Phoenix prepare for the big game? So we're actually coming to you from the Verizon Frontline Network Command Center, where we actually have eyes on all of the infrastructure that is deployed in and around the Phoenix metro area. 
Uh, Verizon Frontline has made over a hundred million dollar investment leading up to the big game, but not just to support the big game, but to remain in the market uh, beyond uh, for the future investments. I have to say, this is really neat to see right there at the front line. So, Kara, based on your experience, how important is the investment for first responders in Phoenix during the game and in the future? It's extremely important. So Verizon's investments allow first responders to prepare and respond to all types of emergencies. As Maggie mentioned, it's a hundred plus million dollars that they've invested into the city of Phoenix and the autumn as, as well as our contiguous borders into Glendale, Scottsdale, etc. And what that allows it to do is allows us to respond to any type of emergency today, tomorrow, Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday, as well as in the future. It also allows us to have the connectivity with all of our automatic aid partners. So when you pick up the phone and call 911, you get the closest, most appropriate unit that's, that's going to help, that's going to respond and help you with your emergency, whether it's a heart attack, a stroke, any type of thing like that. We're going to respond and take care of your emergency. And lastly, where can the people go for more? is the most important thing that when the lights go on. Log on to verizon.com slash frontline. Well, I appreciate the three of you for joining us this morning and keeping us all safe during the big game. Thank you very much. And stay tuned. We have plenty of Houston Happens after the break. When you apply for Social Security Disability Benefits, you have to fill out a lot of paperwork. You may get frustrated and need somebody to help you. I'm Victor McCreese, a Texas Board Certified Attorney. If you need to apply for disability benefits or appeal a denial, my law firm is here to help you get started either in person or over the phone. You have a Espanol. Call Victor McCreese, 713-665-1000, easyapply.com. Right now at Rooms to Go, shop our President's Day mattress sale. Sleep better and save big, thanks to this special offer. Choose any size mattress from two great brands and pay one low price, just $5.95. That's a twin, full, queen, even king size. Choose this Serta Perfect Sleeper or this Sealy Posturepedic mattress. Any size, one low price, just $5.95. And check out all our amazing mattress buys store-wide. Now during the Rooms to Go President's Day mattress sale. Houston Trade Training can teach you skills to become a professional AC tech in as little as five weeks with our professional hands-on training curriculum. Don't waste your precious time and money on programs that never move beyond a book or a computer screen. Come to HTT and get real training for a real job, as well as a universal EPA certification. Houston Trade Training is the home of the $14.99 five-week HVAC class. So what are you waiting for? Start off the new year with a new career. Oh, what a good time we will have. You can make it happen again. Voltaren, the joy of movement. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, and I'm excited to bring you my Giza Dream bed sheets for the best offer ever. We're all experiencing unprecedented rising prices, but I was able to secure a limited amount of Giza cotton for a great price. And I'm going to pass those savings directly on to you. Get my Giza Dream bed sheets for as low as $29.98 with your promo code. They're the most luxurious sheets ever made with the world's finest cotton grown only in a region between the Sahara Desert, Mediterranean Sea and the Nile River where the weather conditions are perfect for growing cotton. My sheets are ultra soft and breathable, but extremely durable. I guarantee they'll be the most comfortable sheets you'll ever own. So go to MyPillow.com or call the number on your screen. Use your promo code to save 50% on my Giza Dream bed sheets. That's as low as $29.98. Quantities are extremely limited at these amazing prices, so please order now. And before we get to our guest, here is a look at today's sponsored content. And are you looking to make some extra money? Have you ever thought of being the host of an Airbnb? Well, joining us now to talk about her experience is an Airbnb super host and share some tips on how to get started is Miss Kendra Redding. Thanks so much for waking up with us. Thanks for having me. So tell us a little bit about your home in Jackson, Mississippi and how you got started. So I actually got the kind of bug to do Airbnb from travels. Um, I've traveled all over the world and most times I've stayed in Airbnbs and I just got to see 
personality and the culture that these hosts put into their space, which inspired me to do the same. And so in January 2022, I decided to uh, host my own space here in Jackson, Mississippi, and it's been a great experience so far. Um, I've got to host more than 100 plus stays. Um, I've got to meet people from all over the country and from different countries too. And so it's it's been a great experience so far. And it was easy to do, and you've seen some financial gain from it too. Absolutely. So Airbnb has definitely been helpful with my financial goals. Um, it's allowed me to save. Um, it's allowed me to supplement my income a little bit, which has helped with, you know, all the rising cost of living. And also it has helped me to get closer to my goal of retiring early. So that's been exciting. I love that. A woman with the plan. Where can people go for more information and to get started? So uh, Airbnb has a program called Airbnb Setup, um, which helps prospective hosts get in touch with uh, community support agents and other super hosts to be able to walk you through the process of starting your own Airbnb. And if you would like more information about that, you can go to airbnb.com slash host and click on Airbnb Setup to get your journey started. Well, thank you so much for joining us and sharing this info. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for having me. And that's a wrap on today's show. It flew by, everybody. I need to catch my breath. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning, same place, same time, for more Houston Happens. In the meantime, have a wonderful Wednesday. We're almost over that hump, and we'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye for now, everybody.